DJ Academics and Future Van Dross. Now, you guys, right? And by the way, it should come as no surprise. Let me tell you something, okay? I'm going to let you in a little secret because I've noticed this. Hopefully, you have too. Now, the greediest motherfuckers in hip-hop, the greediest fan base, is none other than these goddamn coalition of stands loyalists and people who are just straight-up disciples to the Future Van Dross movement called the Future Hive because, and I'm going to tell you why, right? Now, Future Vandross actually gave his fan base three mixtapes, a three-peat, and they were still acting like they were out here starving until he gave them a full album, which is Dirty Sprite 2. I love that album, right? Now, here's the thing, because he actually took the stage on the Made in America Festival, and he said, yo, man, I'm dropping another album this year, so get ready. Now, people are going crazy, stands are going crazy, people are about to start tattooing whatever his new album name is on their skin, and we know how that shit goes. Now, here's the thing, because this is a very popular move, because we've heard other rappers say they're dropping projects this year too, right? Drake said he's doing it, of course, Meek Mill said he's doing it, and now Future said he's doing it. Now, what's the point, right? What is the point? Now, first of all, I'm going to let you in on a big industry secret. Actually, shouldn't be no secret. If you could kind of do addition, I mean, 9 plus 10 is 21, you could probably figure this out, because... Labels, and I'm talking about record labels, they love the money, okay? Which means if a rapper drops a project and is highly successful, it probably means they want to come back to back to drop another project whenever the sales for the first one kind of dips down because they're trying to capitalize off the buzz, right? Now, I will tell you this. Sometimes they'll try to repackage the same album and they'll put it out with the same fucking name and just kind of add a couple more songs. It's kind of the same thing, the same premise on like American Gangsta, if you watch the movie, when they had the same goddamn drugs, you kind of change up the packaging, okay? It's the same shit, okay? Same motherfucking shit. Now, Here's the thing. They have done it before with uh, Nicki Minaj. Remember Nicki Minaj's Pink Print? They added a couple more songs. They put it out. No, not Pink Print. Pink Friday. They added a couple more songs. They put it out, and they said Pink Friday Reloaded. Okay, I mean, to be honest, I don't know the difference. Anyway, here's the thing. Because um, why don't rappers actually do this more? Because we do know Future, he says he's a workaholic. He's always in the studio. We get that, right? But why don't rappers actually put out a lot more projects more frequently? Number one, it takes time to come up with new content to get inspired to really live life and gain experiences that you could rap about if you rap about repetitive content it's easy to do but a lot for a lot of rappers who put out quality material you got to take a little while okay now most of these rappers are pushing themselves when they're trying to release two tapes in like six months because you guys got to understand the schedule of a rapper no a rapper don't sit in the studio or sit in an empty room and think of rhymes all day these guys drop an album futures on a tour still from his album you think he's actually working on music and really has the time to lock in to make music good so sometimes it takes time right now future he's gonna have to get inspiration he's gonna have to make sure he can really flip the music and make sure people are on board and also he has to still put that high quality crack back in the street now i'm gonna tell you this because i do think future at some point i think he's about to go back pop because i think he already maxed out the nigga lane i think the only place up from here he has to get that crossover love okay and we've seen him done it before but maybe he has to give a nice mix with it okay now i will say this because the last time a rapper put out two albums in a year was actually last year rick ross did it he did it with mastermind and hood billionaire now Hood Billionaire to me. It was kind of rushed, and the reviews and the sales kind of said it was rushed because it got lukewarm reviews, and it did 75000 out the gate. Now, a lot of people will probably say, man, what the fuck are you talking about? Because Gucci, man, dropped like 10 projects a year. He did. He dropped like 10 projects this year. But still, Gucci Man's on a different plan. Gucci Man's in jail, chilling, booling, and he's doing all type of songs. Gucci Man's a different case. But for these regular rappers... It takes time to come up with material. We'll see if any of these rappers who promise second albums, will they deliver? And I'm talking about Meek Mill. He did a big number, 260. First week, he says he's coming out with another album, okay? Then if we talk about Drake, he did a big number with his mixtape. He says he's coming out with his album, Views from the Six. Now, Future Van Jones says he's following up Dirty Sprite 2 with another project. Will he do it? I think he will. Okay, I think he works hard. I think he will. And also, if you don't know, December is a huge sales period for the music industry. They fulfill a lot of quotas during that point. A lot of people buy more albums because it's the holiday. You pretty much have money to spend, and you then buy the stuff you like. So get in the comment section. Make sure you guys like. Definitely subscribe. It's Woody Jack Academics, man. Hello.